I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a deacon of the church in St. Cray. I ask you to receive her in the Lord in a way worthy of his people and to give her any help she may need from you, for she has been the benefactor of many people, including me. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my co-workers in Christ Jesus. They risk their lives for me. Not only I, but all the churches of the Gentiles are grateful to them. Greet also the church that meets at their house. Greet my dear friend Epenetus, who was the first convert to Christ in the province of Asia. Greet Mary, who worked very hard for you. Greet Andronicus and Junia, my fellow Jews who have been in prison with me. They are outstanding among the apostles, and they were in Christ before I was. Greet Ampliatus, my dear friend in the Lord. Greet Urbanus, our co-worker in Christ, and my dear friend Stachis. Greet Apelles, whose fidelity to Christ has stood the test. Greet those who belong to the household of Aristobulus. Greet Herodian, my fellow Jew. Greet those in the household of Narcissus, who are in the Lord. Greet Tryphena and Tryphosa, who's those women who work hand in the Lord. Greet my dear friend Persis, another woman who has worked very hard in the Lord. Greet Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother, who has been a mother to me too. Greet Asyncritus, Philagon, Hermes, Patrobas, Hermas, and the other brothers and sisters with them. Greet Philologus, Julia, Nereus, and his sister, and Olympus, and all the Lord's people who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ send greetings. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory al Molay. It's amazing to be in the midst of God's presence. To be together here as a family. Worshiping and praising our Creator. God is so good. And we are so blessed. And I was so blessed this morning when I heard Brother Andrew and Gabriel doing their introductions. Because basically they preached today's sermon. And since I walked in this place this morning, all I'm thinking about is the food and the glory cloud I can see in the kitchen. So the fact that my brothers already preached today, I have more peace. So, as we heard already, we are in the last chapter of Romans 16. And this is an incredible letter. Filled rich. In theology, and also in its application. And as we heard again already, this morning we'll be looking at Romans 16, verses 1 to 16. And the title for this message is Marks of a Strong Church. 
Marketa knisja psahita. And probably as Sandro was reading this passage, u probabilment kif Sandro kienet jaqra, you noticed there is a list of names which most of them are hard to pronounce. Hemm lista ta' 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 nies illi huwa ukoll diffiċli li tippronunzja isimhom. In fact, the two names that I, I was thinking about all the time while I was preparing. Fatti meta kont qed nipprepara żewġ ismijiet li l-iktar kont qed naħseb fuqhom. Were the names of two ladies. Kienu l-ismijiet ta' żewġ nisa. Trifisa and Trifosa. Trifisa u Trifosa. And I was saying to myself, if one day I will have two girls. U bdejt ngħid kieku kuxi darba jkolli żewġ tibniet. Probably I'll name them Trifisa and Trifosa. Hekk insemmihom forsi Trifisa u Trifosa. Imagine, imagine them going to school. Imagine I could give them a mek if you get to the school. So, joking aside, let's focus on today's message. Now, if my count is correct, Paul mentions 26 individuals by name. Jekk met notajje, Paolo, semma 26 individui bisimum. And many others are unnamed. U hemm oħrajn ukoll illi m'hemm xi simhom. This passage is a list of greetings. U a passaġġ ta' ta' tislim. And Paul uses familial terms. U qed juża termi familjari, Pawlu, hawnhekk. He uses words such as brother, sister, mother, my beloved. Juża klim bħal hija, oħti, ommi, il-maħbub. And he also pens down the term in Christ or in the Lord 11 times. U jisemmi u kollem fi Kristu jisemmi jahda xil darba. And this is very important for us today. U għallum din ija verament importanti. Because even though we may not be related naturally. Aċal kem aħna maħnix ne maniġuċ min xul xi mot naturali. In Christ Jesus, we are a family. Imma fi Kristu ġesu, aħna familja. With all the ups and downs. Bittajjeb ul-ħazin. With all our weaknesses, with all our faults, with all our strengths. Biddju fi jittana, bil-blaffarjit tajba tana. With all the challenges and with all the joys. Bil-ferħ kollu u bl-sfidi kolla. I can say one thing about this. Nista nejt ħaġa wahda fuq dan. That the family of God is amazing. Lil familia talla ija talla ġeb. Now, this passage many times gets neglected. Dan il passaġ xafna drabi e jġifti tim warrab. But we are to remind ourselves that all scripture. Immar dun fakru li nna nfusna li li skriptura kolla. Old Testament, New Testament. Kem testament l-antik, kem testament l-ġdit. All the promises, all the warnings, all the prophecies, and all the genealogies. Il-profetsiji, il-genealogici, il-wediet, il-twissijiet. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17 says. Tnejn Timotju, kapitlu 3, versi 16 u 17, jajtek. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Li skrittura kolla ija mnebħa min alla u tiswa bix wihet jallem, i ċanfar, i widdeb u jirawwem fissewa. Bixek, il-bnidem ta' alla jikun perfett imħejji għal kull hidma tajba. The majority of these people mentioned in these lines, we have no other reference to them in scripture. Il-maġoranza ta' l-ismijiet li etnisi ma' wawnek ma' nsibu l-ebda referenza uħra għalijom fil-skriptura. Most of them, we know nothing about them. Xafna minnom lan qasna fuxen duarom. But in if we are in Christ, one day we will meet them. And we will see them face to face. Their names have been immortalized in the Holy Word of God. And what does scripture say? Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8 says this. The grass withers, the flower fades, 
but the word of God will stand forever. Isaiah 4, verse 28, Il-ħaxix jinxef, ul-wart jidbil, izdal kelma tal-mulej tibqal dejjem. And their names are written on the word of God. U isimom imnizzel fil kelma talla. My hope is that we can imitate them. Ittama tijej illi jahna nistaw nimitawum. That we live a life worthy of remembering. Li nejxu xajja li tkun denja li tibqa tiġi mfakra. A life well lived. Xajja li wijħet jiexa tajjeb. A life lived for Jesus. Xajja li wijħet jiexa għal ġesu. A life worthy of being written. Xajja li tkun, li tkun, worthy li tkun denja. On the Lamb's Book of Life. Li tkun imnizla fil-ktib tal-ħajja. I pray this for each and every one in this room and even those on Zoom. U dan ni tolbu għal kul wijħet u wahda minna li edin għawn u daw kukolli edin fuq Zoom. It doesn't matter if you are building or have built already a name for yourself. Ma jimpurta xa kinti tiġa bnejt jew għadek et tibni li semtijak. It doesn't matter how many people recognize your name on Facebook or on Instagram. Ma jimpurtax kem em nis jafu bismek fuq Facebook jew Instagram. The question is, does the Lord recognize my name? Il mistoqsi jai il mulej jarfu ismi? Does the Lord recognize your name? Il mulej et jarfu ismek? Proverbs 21 verse 1. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches. And favor is better than silver and gold. Proverb 22, verse 28. Aħjar isem tajjeb min ħafna ġit. Aħjar fama tajba min fidda widdeb. Think about it. Now, our name Isimna is better than all the money of this world. Isimna wa ahjar mil flus kolla li jaw fiddinja. And no, I'm not talking about our actual name. U min ishat nitkellem fu isimna individuali. I'm talking about our integrity. Et nitkellem dwar l-integrita. I'm talking about our reputation, our character. Il-reputazzjoni taħna, il-karattru taħna. What is the first thing that comes to mind to someone as soon as he hears my name. Xieġif moħ persona meta jisma ismi. Does that person say that he is a man of God? Dik il persona ħatejt daku wabnidem ta' alla? Or that he is a trustworthy person? Jew li daku wabnidem ta' min jafdaħ? He is approved by God? Uwa raġe li wabnidem approvat min alla? He is a servant of the Most High? Uwa addej ta' alla l-ħaj? A name worthy to be remembered is a life totally surrendered. Totally dependent. Completament dependenti. A life lived for Jesus. Am I living for Jesus? Et nation al Jesu? Are we living for Jesus? Ahna edin nation al Jesu? Let's take a look at what the Apostle Paul had to say of these people. Eja naraw Paulu xkello xiejt fuq dawn in nis. In the verse 2 verses of Romans 16. Flewel zewj versi ta Romani 16. Paul talks about a very special lady. Paulu jitkellem duar mara vera speciali. A woman named Phoebe. Mara blisem ta Phoebe. And commentators are almost in a unanimous agreement. Ul commentatori edin fi bil unanimo. That Paul entrusted Phoebe. Li Paolo avda lil Phoebe. With his letter. Blitra tijaw. To deliver to the church in Rome. Pish din ta dija tu assala lil knisija ta Roma. Now on a side note. Xaħġa apparti. I want us all to dismiss the idea. Irrit il-kull ħat inneħi l-idea. The idea that this secular world is trying to put in our heads. Din l-idea li din id-dinja sekolari jetti prova t-poġġi fġomohna. The idea that somehow the Bible is misogynist, meaning hating women. L-idea li il-bibja ija kontra n-nisa jewli tobot l-nisa. 
in times of Paul, women were not given any prominence. In fact, many times women were considered as breeding stock. But not for Jesus. Not for Paul. In Ephesians, Paul instructed husbands to love their wives as Christ loved the church. And how did Christ love the church? He laid down his life for him. And we are to love our wife in the same manner. I don't think that's hatred towards women. So Paul trusted the original word of God to a woman. Today we carry around Bibles that are they're printed. But Phoebe had the original autographed letter. What a privilege, what a responsibility. So Romans 16 verse 1. I command to you. Paul is writing a letter of recommendation or a cover letter for her resume. So when the church in Rome see her, they will welcome her, they will receive her. I command to you, our sister Phoebe, a servant of the church in Sincre. Now let's look at the word servant. If you have a fire Bible or any other study Bible, you will notice that on that word servant, there's a small number or a letter. And at the bottom of the page or in the middle of the page, you will find a note with a meaning. And the meaning is deacon. This word deacon is used all over the New Testament. Paul uses this, this word deacon for himself. Also for Jesus. And if you remember in Romans 13, he used the same word for the governing authorities. So this word deacon is very generic. And it literally means servant. However, Paul in this verse is being specific. And it's important that we look into the context. Phoebe, a deacon of the church at Sincre. So, where is Phoebe serving? Is she serving in a restaurant? Is she serving at home? She is serving in the church. And I want to make this point because many Christians, many brothers, believe that women should not serve in the church. I'm going to tell you this. Women can serve. Women are to serve in the church. The Holy Spirit that indwells 
a born again man għax li spiritu santu li qiegħed ġo raġel li huwa imwielet mill-ġdid is the same holy spirit that indwells a born again woman et yesh flist et yesh blistes mot fmara li hija mwelda mill ġdid so coming back to this word deacon mela ana ju morulura fil kelma diaknu servant a day servant in the church a day fil knisia a deacon knows his calling diaknu yaf is say hatio and he doesn't procrastinate o mai ma mai we bisrasu in doing what needs to be done milli amel dak li em bzon li si whatever the need is o she no el bzon we'll come back to this word let's move on to verse 2 aner jawni jwal dil kelma ma hanim shu at ni verse that you may welcome her welcome phoebe in the lord in a way worthy of the saints and help her in whatever she may need from you for she has been a patron of many and of myself as well mela ti riversiet il awa ti referi al fibi il awa fil mulei kif yishra lil qaddisin u wa tuwa kull ma tehtich min antkom ash istess kienet ainuna al hafna u aliya u koll she has been a patron in while um, sandra was was reading passage it said she was a benefactor in other translations it says she's been of a help iya kienetta patruna kienetta ainuna she's been a patron a help to paul and to many others kienetta ainuna kem al paulo kif u kol al ohrain al hafna ohrain a patron looks after protects provides supports patron wa dak li yiprotegi li yisupportja u li yiprovdi helps in whatever the need is u yen f dak kollu li hemm bżonn u xinu l bżonn fibi served selflessly u fibi amlet dan ddiet min ajr ma ta ma ħarset lejn l-interessi tagħha qdiet bla egoiżmu edikin serves selflessly u ek irid jaqdi diaknu b'mod li ma jħarrix lejh innifsu now phoebe is a name worth remembering allora phoebe huwa isem illi ta min jibqa jiftakru because she lived a life for jesus għax għexet ħajjitha għal ġesu let's ask that question again melej anerġu nistaqsu din il-mistoqsija am i living for jesus jiena qed ngħix għal ġesu a mark of a strong church Marka ta' knisja b'saħħita is selfless service. Ija dik il-knisja li taqdi minajr interessi personali. Before moving to verse 3, għabell naħdu għat il-ed verse, notice the way Paul instructs the Romans to receive Phoebe. Ejan ninnotaw kif Paolo ta' struzzjoni jiet l-Romani bix jil-għaw l-Phoebe. Welcome her in the Lord. In a way worthy of the saints. Il awa fil mulei kif yishra lil qaddisin. This is hard to say, but I have to say it. Ya bit ila bish neida ma haneida. Sometimes the hardest group of people to get into. Kul tant liktar group tanis lit kun difich li li tit kol fih dak il group. Are the people of God. U wan nistalla. Why am I saying this? Għalix għet nejt dan? If a Christian jek Kristian thinks he's better than someone else jek Kristian jaħseb illi u waħjar min xaħat tijħor or feels superior than someone else jek u hossu superiori lejn xaħat tijħor because we have a revelation of Jesus għax għanna revelazzjoni aħna min għan ġesu we know the scriptures aħna għanna fu l-skritturi we speak in tongues aħna nitkelmu blilsna if we do this, instead of being the most welcoming, most hospitable group of people, instead of being the warmest group of people, will be the most cold 
group of people. Inkuno liktar mnesling kuno birda. And that's and that's not a good testimony. Odik mi yesh. For ourselves. Testimony ansa taiba alina. If, especially if we say that we are ambassadors of our Lord Jesus Christ. These instructions still very much apply for today. We are to welcome in. We are to receive each other. Because in Christ we are a family. And we have to get this thing stuck in our head. Church is a family. We come here to strengthen each other, to encourage each other, to serve each other, to worship the Lord together. We are the church. We don't go to church to entertain ourselves. But the church is a family. Now let me give you an example. Imagine a famous football player walks in this room today. Imagine I player football popular. Whatever, whoever it is, Messi, Ronaldo, Lukaku, whoever it is. In my case, I would run towards him. Especially if it's Lukaku. I would roll a red carpet in front of him. Tell him, here, look, I could take my seat. And take my Bible. I'll be so excited, welcoming. But then a brother or a sister in the Lord walks in. And I'm indifferent. Or else I start grumbling or complaining. <laughs> here he comes. Or here she comes. Who do they think they are? Or else a visitor enters in this building. And he tries or she tries to make eye contact with someone. And I pull out my trick. I pull out the phone and I start staring at the phone instead. I'm busy, I'm too focused on my stuff. A mark of a strong church is a welcoming church. Hebrews 13 verses 1 and 2. Keep on loving one another as Christian brothers. Remember to welcome strangers in your homes. Another translation reads, do not neglect hospitality to strangers. There were some who did that and welcomed angels without knowing it. Tinsew xtil għaw lil barranin min habba fek xi uħud la għaw l-anġli pla ma kienu jafu. There's not much more to add to that verse. Ma tanġem xin zidu. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 9. Lowell Petru, kapitlu erba disa verse. Show hospitality to one another without grumbling. Il għaw l-xul xin blad gergir. Welcome each other. Receive in each other in the Lord without complaining. Romans 16 verses 3 and 4. Greet Prisca and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who risked their necks for my life, to whom not only I give thanks, but all the churches of the Gentiles give thanks as well. Not dual Romanis it taj versit inversely tal udim, selluli al prisca u aquila, lehad mumie fi Christu Jesu. Ashu mau kol is su grau hayeto malia, bishis alvauni, umushin bis, andi, ashnering gratium, is dau kol il kneyes kolla tal gentili. Greet prisca 
and Aquila. Greet is an imperative, is a command. U l-kelma il-qa uwa f-imperativ, fiġifiri uwa k-mant. And Paul uses this word, greet, 17 times in this passage. U Paolo jivza l-kelma il-qa zbatax il-darba f-dan il-passat. Paul wants to let these people know that he remembers them. Irrit jurijom il-li u etifakkarom. That he respects them, that he honors them. Li respektom u jonorom. And who were Prisca and Aquila? U min kienu, min kienu Prisca u Aquila. Paul calls them my fellow workers. Eti sej, hilom dawk li hadmu miaj. In Acts chapter 18, we can learn more about them. Fatti kapitlu t-mintax, nistaw nita l-muz jadwaro. I was hoping that I can go through scriptures, but maybe we'll have the opportunity to do that on Tuesday. Kontet nita ma li naddu ktar skripturi, ma forsi konna dan it-chans dwar fil-ħin tal-istudju tal-Bibja. But I'll just give you a quick overview. Ima ħantikom ħarsa ta' malaj. Aquila was a Jew married to Prisca, to Priscilla. Prisca is a variant of Priscilla. Aquila was a Jew. All right. Married. Aquila kien, kien um, ludi mizzewwetx lil Prisca. Prisca. Or Priscilla. It's the no, same Priscilla. person. Prisca is a variant of the name Priscilla. All right. Prisca was a Jew in the Priscilla. And they lived in Italy. But, no, yeah, under, in Italy. but under Cornelius, the Jews were were cast off, Imma were exiled. Taht Cornelius, il-lut kienu eziljati. So they went in Corinth, and that's where Paul met them. Għalekuma marru il-Korint, u emmek fejn Paolo l-ta amaħu. But by the time of this letter, they're back in Rome. Imma sa zmin ta' din l-litra, u ma kienu reġaw marru Roma. Because Paul is writing to the Romans, and he's greeting Paul and Prisca. Għax Paolo tjiktep il-Romani, u għet jil-qa lil-Paolo. They shared the same craft that Paul had. They were tent builders, tent makers. In Corinth, Paul didn't accept any money from the, from the church in Corinth. Paul in Corinth. Paul in Corinth. Paul in Corinth. Any money. Even though he was receiving money from other churches, from Philippi in Macedonia. But here, he had a bivocation, and he was building tents, together with Prisca and Aquila. Aquila. In, in, in chapter 18, further on, we meet again Prisca and Aquila. So there was this man, Apollos, preaching. He was a scholar in the Old Testament. But his doctrine, his theology wasn't complete. He was preaching the baptism of John. And the scripture says that Priscilla and Aquila, after Apollo was done preaching, they took him aside and they instructed him properly in the ways of God. Why am I mentioning this? Again, it didn't say Aquila corrected or instructed his teaching. It said Priscilla and Aquila together. Again, this is to emphasize that Every one of us are filled with the same Holy Spirit. Moving on to verse 4. Who risked their necks for my life? Paul and all the Gentile churches knew this fact. 
u Paolo u l-knisa tal-ġentili tal-fat kienu jafuħ. This couple did not just share an occupation with Paul. Din il-kopja ma kellix bis taqsam bis l-okupazzjoni ta' xaxxol ta' xama Paolo. They were willing to risk their own lives to save his. Imma kienu lesti jessu graw xajjitom bix jisal vawti jaw. These are people worthy of remembering. Dawn u man nis li u ma dani li nip aw niftakruwom. Worthy of remembering their names. Dani li nip aw niftakru isimom. And we are to imitate them. Wahna ridu ni mitawom. Priscilla and Aquila understood what is important. Priscilla u Aquila fea muxkin importanti. The work of the gospel. Ixxol tal vangelu. They recognize that without the gospel, the world is hopeless. Ar fuli d-dinja jja bla tama min ajr il-vangelu. And were willing to lay down their lives for this cause. U għal dan il-an kienu lesti jatu xajjitom. There is Christ-like love. A weket naraw im xabba bħal ta' Kristu. A familiar passage, John 15, verse 12 and 13. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friends. U din li mħabba nsibuwa fi ġwanni 15, versi 12 u 13, fejn jaj danu l-kmandamenti jaj li tħobbu l-xul xin kif ħabbejt kom jien, ħat mandu mħabba akbar min din li wiħet jati ħajtu għal-ħbibu. Paul says, that's Prisca and Aquila. U Paolo għal ta' unkienu Prisilla u Aquila. Never to be forgotten for their service. Li għat mandom jidju min sija għas servit taħħom. A mark of a strong church is willingness to sacrifice. Marka ta' knisja, b'saħħita, ija dik il-knisja li tkun lesta li t-sagrifika. Am I willing to sacrifice my pride, my success, my... My expectations. Jena l-less nista grifika dak li jenet nistenna, l-less nista grifika l-gburija tijaj u dak li jena nishtiq. For the benefit of the gospel, for the benefit to build up a brother or a sister. Al-benefitxu tal-vangelu, al-benefitxu l-nibni l-ħija jaw l-luhti. And then Paul keeps on going, mentions many, many names. U Paolo jkompli jawnek kaddej mish il-quddim isemmi iktar ismijiet. He remembers the first convert in Asia. Jiftakar l-awwel konvertit fl-Azja. It seems like he wants to say hello to everyone. Donnu jrit jisellem l-kulħat. Hello, I remember you. I cherish you. I honor you. Et jisellem u juri kem umanis importanti għalħi. But quickly, I want to go in verse 6, where it says, Mary, we don't know which Mary is, but Mary has worked hard for you. Jisemmi u kol verse 6-ta, Sellu għal-Marija, ma nafuċ li Marija, pero tjej tsellu għal-Marija li tħab tjet ħafna għalikom. Mary worked hard unto exhaustion. Et tjej tjej li Marija ħadmet, ħadmet u ejjiet. My prayer is that we work hard. Et talba tjej li jaħna u koll naħdmu ħafna. That we work hard in whatever calling. Għali jaħna u koll naħdmu bisħiħ għal dik s-sejħa. Whatever calling God has called us in. Iċi ni s-sejħa li takalla. Is it cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the floors, preaching? Whatever the calling is. If the Lord called me to spend the whole day at home cleaning diapers, unless, for those who don't know, that's what I do during the day, most of the time. I'm going to do it gladly. Jiena, jekk imsejjah bix namel dan, ha namel dan bil-fer. It's hard, I don't enjoy it. Ija diffiċ li ma nehuġ gost. Sometimes I find myself talking to the walls. Kul tan nispiċa nitkellem mal-ħajt. But whatever it is, I'm gonna do it unto the Lord. Imma iċini, jiena ha namel ek al-mulej. So a strong church is marked by hard work. Għalek, knis jab saħħita, Ija b-saħħita għax taħdem taħdem hard work for the Lord and for his people. U għannis tijaw. My prayer is that we all work hard. U talba tijaj li kolla naħdmu ħafna. And again, if you notice, during this whole passage, u kif ninnu tawf dan il-passaċ kollu, Paul was showing 
that love. Paolo kien qed juri dik l-imħabba. He was he was telling his friends, his co-workers. Qed isse met jgħid li l-bib tiegħu u l-kollegi tiegħu. This is Paul the apostle. Dan Paolo l-apostlu. He is in the hall of fame of apostles. Huwa wieħed mill-iktar wieħed li għandu fama. He takes time to write these names down. Imma jieħu l-ħin biex jikteb dawn l-ismijiet. He takes time to say hello, I remember you. Jieħu l-ħin biex jikteb isimhom u jisellmilhom u jurrihom li hu qed jiftakar fihom. I know that you've been serving the Lord. Naf li jiena jinnaf li intom qed taqdu lill-Alla. I honor you. I respect you. I love you. In hopkom. A mark of a strong church is true love for the people of God. Marka takasiya psahita iya mahabba lein in nista Allah. I wasn't. I was gonna. Share, I wasn't gonna share this, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it and close with it. Ma konsa na sam dan ma ana sam una la bek. I wasn't gonna share it because many times I get emotional. Ma na sam ija niji emotionat. Back in 8 October 2018. My son, my second son was born. And on the same day, my father-in-law died. And it was hard. It was hard on us. Imagine in the morning you're celebrating. A birth. Imagine if you do what you celebrate with your feet, and then you're mourning. Of the hour that you didn't have food to. But the church. In Malknisia. You came together. In a atto. You prayed for us. It lap to Alina. And it didn't just stop there. Um, I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I remember while the women were having the women's meeting. They decided they're, that they're going to make food for us, prepare food for us. And we had food for almost three weeks. Now this might sound something small for you. For si but this is something that marked me and my family. Because we truly felt the love of this family. A mark of a strong church is true love for the people of God. John chapter 13, verse 34 and 35. We already heard this this morning from our brother Gabriel. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You, are, you also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Natikom kmandament ġdid li tħobbu li l-xulxin. Pħal ma ħabbejt kom jien, pħal ma ħabbejt kom jien, ekku kol ħobbu intom li l-xulxin. Min dan jaraf kol ħat li intom di xip li tijej, jidġifiri, jekki kol kom li mħabba bejniet kom. Brothers and sisters, laħwa, let's serve together. Eja naqdu flimkien. Serve without grumbling. Serve without procrastinating. If I know what needs to be done, let me do it immediately. I don't need anyone to come and tell me or push me to do something. Just do it. Be obedient. Be obedient in whatever calling God has called you in. Obdiv da kollu li Allah isayah lekalih. Serve God, serve each other. 
Forgive each other. Let's strengthen each other. Let's stop complaining and pointing fingers. The worst thing that can happen to us is that we go to war and we're aiming our guns towards the enemy. But then the same person who is supposed to be fighting against that enemy turns his gun towards you. We don't have to wait. We don't have to wait for persecution outside of the church. There's already much persecution going in the church from brothers and sisters. Let's stop this. Let's love one another the same way that Jesus loved his church. Let's not wait for someone else to love us. Let's not wait for someone to welcome us in. Jesus first loved us before we loved him. And that's the same thing that we have to do. Jesus is our example. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you for your word. I thank you for the Apostle Paul. I thank you for these people which their names is written on the most holy book. Lord, I pray that we will imitate them, that we will serve you selflessly, that we work hard for you, that we are welcoming and Lord, I pray that each and every one of us has a name worthy to be written on the book's lamb of life. For your glory, Lord, I pray for each and every one in this room. Bless us as we go on, go on with our day. Lord, I pray that whatever we do, as we eat, drink, sleep, wake up, go to work, that we truly are your ambassadors. And that people will see the love we have for your people. Because they will know that we are your disciples, that we are your children. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.